So Tom Zortless here with another Rogue Incognito here at Fish Camp Grill. About to go inside and grab myself some lunch. For those of you going on a beach trip over in Coco, uh, Coco Beach, well, this is for you guys. Cool looking building on the outside. It's actually pretty well located right next to um, the Cocoa Beach Pier, just down that way. And I gotta admit, they have a good sense of humor. So this is a little bit more of an impromptu rogue incognito. I'm at uh, Fish Camp Grill. I don't even know if you can hear me over the music. So there's gonna be some weird trickery I do later. But this is definitely like more on the um, foresty side of the restaurant in Cocoa Beach. Um, it's straight out of like, um, I wanna say like Waterboy. Um, Take a quick second. I mean, just look at around. You got like trophies on the wall, a stuffed cat. So it's definitely eclectic in design. Even has a live stage, which is kind of cool. Um, so if you're in the Cocoa Beach area, this could seem like something you like to try. Like I said, it's near uh, the pier, so a beach day, maybe you want to come. They do have some weird cocktail options, so there's definitely more of a bar scene here. Um, so there's like a, a full 60 ounce ladies leg, which I did not get. Um, too early, no, well, one o'clock. It's not too early in the day, but I didn't want to get it. Um, but I did get, um, some Swamp Poppers, which is their frog legs, and a Gator Poor Boy. Going full New Orleans, Louisiana, while it's still kinda in that carnival Mardi Gras season. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. I'll throw in some walkthroughs and stuff like that, obviously, break things up, but this is gonna be very, very hard to edit. And I'm letting you know, because sometimes you have to let people know that. You know what I mean? Well, my swamp poppers or frog legs rest. This is not the first time I've had frog legs. I actually had them at Mori Motos, which I'll link that way. Um, so, these are cornmeal fried instead of panko breadcrumbs. So, let's see how they go. They're probably gonna be just as buttery. I don't know. I'm very, been going very amphibious today. The crunch on the formula is very good. Um, very hot actually also. That's a good thing. Coming with their camp sauce is almost like a Creole version of a tartar sauce.
I don't want the corn bone. Don't know all the anatomy of a frog. Sorry, Kermit. Is it pretty good though? A little, like I said, a little bit less fatty. It still has that buttery taste. Um, obviously, with amphibians, since they have to be in water, there's a higher fat content. But it almost goes along with the duck leg. I'm a fish eating this though. It's very good. And um, I'll draw a picture in. So, my Gator Poi Boy has arrived. It uh, came with waffle fries. I ate a little bit before I started filming again, so I'm sorry about that. But, um, the waffle fries, the waffle fries, the similar ones you could find in maybe Rainforest Cafe. Waffle fries. Gator Poi Boy, though, it's a little more different. Uh, I am a gator connoisseur, I think. I, I do love myself some gator. This has also their camp sauce and camp slaw, which is almost like a Cajun roulade. And, um, the slaw is interesting because it actually has broccoli in it. So seeing a broccoli slaw is kind of different and I appreciate that. Now this um, poor boy is um, pretty big. It does come on a toasted roll. Uh, I feel like this would have been better on a French baguette um, if you're going for like a poor boy type of feel. I don't know if a hoagie roll is the appropriate medium for it, but we're in Florida, coastal, you may not be able to get a good um, house-made baguette or um, like a hard Kaiser roll type thing. But hey, it does look decently big. Um, so let's give this a shot. Gator's okay. It's a little bit on the dry side, but not too bad. Um, I think it was interesting though, the frog legs were very moist. The game tastes good though, it's seasoned well, not too, uh, I see a little bit peppery, which I like. The flaw is a good texture crunch to give a balance. You got like acidity going, you got salt, you got, you have the flavors you want. Um, I just wish the gator was a little bit more moist, but. That could be a personal preference thing too. I don't know, maybe go out to eat gator, but I think the decent size sandwich, this is about, um, I think $18. And the frog legs were 14. Not your cheapest, no. I mean, you're looking at Disney pretzels then. So if you are on vacation, you might be used to that. Um, and everything's going up the price, right? I have to come back here another time for a novelty because they do have some novelty drinks. But I'm all here by my lonesome today. All right, so we are now out of the fish camp. So that's a relatively good meal. And all I have to say is, this is Tom, no resort, Rogue Incognito, Rogue Disney, saying, don't be afraid of the pool. And uh, if you're on the beach, give a shot. Give it a try. Later, everyone. Have a good weekend.